yeah obs crash guy it was obs fault not my internet because i was still online i was still able to see the text but yeah obs crash guys obs freaking crash oh man i hate i hate when that happened man we can't we can't be going into 2023 with those type of problems i don't live in germany i live in america <laughs> i don't live in germany we live in the usa where we got we got a uh, great internet and great connection other than our german counterparts all right so i guess this goes here i guess okay you know what what is this okay harold would know machine you know i don't know exactly either it looks like one of those slot for something but other than that not sure Did you just put Gamble into the box thing? What's your plan? I don't really know. Just kind of want to see if he will fit. And he does. Alright. Power's out. So, But we did. We do got the generator thing. Yep. I mean. I'm game to give it a shot. If you guys are. I could plug it in. And give it a spin. Ricky has me way too curious about this. Now let's see what this machine does. Alright. Let me see how much power this thing needs. Dang! Flying Gambo. If you want, we could do this once or twice. Maybe brighten the spirits before we keep with our search. Just hand me the toy and I'll watch it soar. Okay. So can we move this around? Okay, what are we supposed to do? All right, let's let's try this again. Oh. Oh, okay. I see what we're supposed to do. So I think I was correct. I think I was correct. Yeah, man. OBS don't have no love for us. What? Oh, I see what I got to do. So maybe sit this one here. Alright, so I I mean, there are some gripes that I do have, but it's all good. I'll talk more about it at the D7 score when I score this game. Alright, so we are on the money. I was correct. What we had... Oh, no! I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that.
Let's go. Alright, so I gotta watch out for, for that. Let's go in this vent. Sport store gate key. Okay, so we gotta wait till the timer runs out now. <clears throat> Alright. So we got the key, and it seems like only Harold could use these keys. So let's... Okay, so how do you open the door? Okay, so we can't get in there. You know what? I see what we can do. I see what we're supposed to do. Alright, we gotta move this one. Here. We gotta move that one there so he could walk up there and get it. So how do we position this one? I think we position this facing up. But... The problem is, we need this in here to move this one down so he can land here. Because we shoot here, he needs to land there. So we can't do that one yet. Okay, let's uh, get Harold. But he's the one with the key. Yeah, make him like automatically return. Hold on, so we. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Come on! Walk away! Hey, walk away. Come on. Uh. Oh, my God. It's always my playthroughs. I'll be finding these bugs and stuff. Why me, man? Why me? Alright, so did we get the toy? The key? We gotta get the key again. Gosh darn it. Well, at least we know what we, at least we know what to do. Yo, what's up, Kiro? What's going on? And Top Hat. You know what I did the other day, Top Hat. I uh I watched my playthrough of your game again. I I had to laugh my butt off. Uh-huh. That's how you do it. Yeah, I watched my playthrough of your game again. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so long ago. That was a long time ago. Yeah, I gotta move it, baby girl. Thank you for helping. Hmm? I gotta talk to somebody. Mm, Alright. So it don't really matter if I speed or not. I still gonna have to wait 10 seconds. 
Okay, so where do we... Note to self, do not trap yourself in the corner ever again. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta go over there. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so daddy gotta figure something out. You sure? Yeah. Okay. So we can't use the key there. Let's see something. What about? No. I'll go right there and then this. Go right there and here which way. Can we leave? Nope, we cannot leave. Why, Daddy? Why, Daddy? Because it's not part of the game. Alright. So the, the doors, the key ain't gonna work on this door. Daddy, you gotta go up and it's over and... Those blessed over, over tile passes after I found that plug in, my life was changed. Man, just setting up. I don't know how they do it now, but when I was working on my game... At one point in time, the overpass, it was just, it wasn't no plug-in when I was doing it. You know, you have to manually, like, uh, set it up. Daddy, go in the kitchen. Go in the what? In the kitchen. In the kitchen? Girl, what you talking about? Go in the kitchen. What you talking about? What are you talking about, little head? Go in the kitchen. Go in the kitchen. In the kitchen? Yeah. Go in the Yeah. Huh? Oh, wow. I did not know we can do that. Let's go. Okay, so now we got to wait another 10 seconds. These RPG developers, I put everything I love. I know what to do. I know what to do. I don't need any help. Cool, cool. So now we can push this down. And have it lined up. The way we're supposed to have it lined up. I think it's like that. That's what I'm thinking. It ain't like that. Hold on, hold on. Gotta think. So, yeah, 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 because what's going to happen, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to fly, he's going to hit the rim, and he's going to bounce down. That's the only way I could see it. If, if he got that design like that, that's great design. That is great design. Okay. That wasn't correct. Something to figure out. Hmm. I gotta figure this out. Red, 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 blue, blue, blue. I gotta figure this out. So I know we have to go... We have to go in this office right here. So. Okay. 
Okay, I see what we got to do. I see it. I see what we got to do. Alright. So now, I think we're going to... Yeah, we're going to have to put this. We're going to get shoot here. I think I got to wedge this in here. Yeah. No, that's not going to work either. Daddy. Yeah, baby. Daddy has to put it there by the box. By the table. Daddy got to figure this out. Um. <clears throat> okay, if I shoot this side. Ramona. Sit on the thing. Alright. Hang it. So if I come over here, get shot. Go get your water. Okay, I got to figure this out, guys. I got to figure this out. Uh, Stretch. Ah, thank you. Lord knows I need it. Ah. Thank you, 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 thank you. All right. So. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If I move this here. Boom. It's not going to work. Because cause we land. We land here. Let's try. This is right. That's correct. Let's see something. I think, I think, uh, we got to shoot down, like shoot towards the wall. I want to try it. I want to try it. Okay. So yeah, that doesn't do any justice. Is that the doorbell? Alright, let's see what this do. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, boom, boom. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I'm stuck. Okay, we come out of there. What the heck? If we shoot this side. Did we even try to shoot that side? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I want to see. I want to see where he gets shot at. Okay, he's here. Okay, he's here. Run through here. Okay, so he's he's on the ground. He's on the ground. Oh my gosh. I, I 
actually had overpass tiles. It it sucked. It sucked doing it. I remember how I suck it was. I had a matter of fact. It wasn't drifty. I think it was RPG Don. There was a guy named RPG Don I used to watch for tutorials. Before I started watching Drifty. That's how long ago it was. I, I don't think RPG Don make anything anymore. I'm going to make another game. I'm not out for the count, guys. I'm not out for the count. If he do what he preaching. <laughs> what are you going to call me? A false prophet or something? Is that what you're trying to do? Alright, I got to concentrate on this. You break my concentration. I actually don't know why um, this isn't working at, as planned. What about this? Okay, that doesn't get pushed up any further. Alright, so if we get shot here, we're going to end up here. And there's nothing we can do. To uh, get him anywhere. So I thought when we get shot, we get we hit the we hit the uh the backboard and we drop on this tile and we run across here, run through here up into the office. But apparently that doesn't work unless. Unless I'm overcomplicating things. Or just another crazy design. I don't know. So if I shoot here. Okay, that's how you get up there. Originally. Oh, man. It's just the tiles with the little stairs on them. That can't be. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to think. You can't push the basketball hoop. One tile down. Nope. This is it. And this is supposed to be here. I got a phone call, guys. Hello? Yeah, what's up? You good? Oh. Okay. Alright. Alright, love you too. Oh my gosh, man. Getting stumped. Uh.
trying to think this one, guys. I'm trying to think. This ain't this ain't it. You're very close to the solution. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's that good. Oh my gosh. I don't even think the developer knows the solution. This got to be it. Right there. Let's try this. I knew it. I had, I freaking knew it. Come on. Uh, Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. That's why I can't do puzzle games live streaming. I can't do them. I can't do them, man. I can't do them because sometimes they take me a long time to do. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, man. But that was, that was cutting it. That was cutting it close right there. Can't you make that thing burn any faster? Maybe if you blew all that hot air into the door, we burned through it faster. What was that? I said I'd do my best to burn through it faster, boss. We're down a few heads on the count of that other squad Johnny had with the other torch. Grr, I don't have the manpower to send anyone down to grab that. Those four are... Handful more locks to go, boss. Good. Keep at it. I figured something out to deal with our little pest problem. Marco, Thomas, get over here. Dang, they're trying to melt that door down. I need you to find everyone who isn't on the post at an SL choke point. You're going to, to the southwestern wing where we had eyes on our special friends. You find them, you bring them to me. We don't have time for any more mistakes or mishaps. Sweep the entire south wing. Every corner, find them. Do I make myself clear? Crystal balls. Crystal clear. That voice. That's who had been barking orders over the Incon the whole time. We really are standing in the middle of a jewelry heist, guys. I don't believe this. They're heading this way. Let's turn back and head down the maintenance tunnel. Maybe there's some sort of exit that way. See, they're trying to escape. All you have to do is let them go. Gunther, what you got for me? Do you see all the boxes of equipment that were sitting on the metal grate above the jewelry store? Yeah, I did. Bunch of crates and forklifts over there. The grate holding everything looked really unevenly loaded too. Something on your mind, pal? Maybe. I just kind of thinking it out loud right now. Can't go that way. Let's head up the other part of this tunnel. You still have your forklift certification, right, Gunther? What are you guys talking about? I think I like where your head's at, but guys, I think we could stop the thieves. Thieves is spelled wrong. I think you got the E and the I reverse. Huh. You just want to stop them from robbing the mall instead of just leaving? Is this some sort of joke, Harold? No, no. Back where they working, there's a bunch of heavy equipment dangling over them. 
on scaffolds. If we drive the nearby forklift to that, we could knock it all down and ruin their plans to get in the doors. I'm in. Aha. Uh -huh. That's our Ricky. You're kidding. We can just find a way out and you want to take the thieves on directly? Let's go. These guys suck so much. I don't even know the thing about it. I don't even know if I spelled these correctly. <laughs> it may be I-E-V-E-S. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Come on now. You got your water, baby? Yeah. Okay. You okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Come on. Let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to the puzzles. We're going to be heroes. We're going to be heroes. Bow this a poke in the head and you're going to love this. The mall keep the keys to their forklifts lying on the desk. Now the problem is they keep the desk in the lock off area. But Gamble could. Alright. So he's going to modify Gambo. Ricky could help like he did in the sports store. Once Gamble's out this room, you head to the main doors. Val, there are guards there. Instead, Val setting up. Instead, Val set up a little flash. He'll signal you when the safe to walk Gamble to. The oh my gosh, I'm gonna hate this part. I'm gonna hate this part with a passion. Ah, oh, this this feels like. Uh huh. This feels like a uh. The puzzle of puzzles. All your knowledge put into one bit puzzle. Oh my gosh. And we got to shoot this thing. I would just let them rob the store. Oh, snap. He's actually doing some hand holding here. Ah. Okay, I got to do this three times. It's fast. That is not fair. I hope each part got a checkpoint. I hope each part got a checkpoint. Please give us a head start. Cross. All right, let's go. All right, so what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Come on. How was seen by a thief? 
I ain't even start. Are right, we ready to go, are we? <laughs> what the hell? Nah, I think I was holding the direction pad. Okay. So how do I get Gambo to start walking? Do I talk to Harold? Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my gosh, I get caught. Come on. Oh man, I thought we could have uh tricked the game by letting him finish walking. Let's go. Woo! That part's over. Daddy, so much my phone. I'm using your phone as a camera right now. Daddy, I chose you to use All right. your phone. Oh, thank you, Harold. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Okay, I got the forklift key. Daddy, just get the you got to be kidding me. How much longer could this possibly take? We got to We got the chatter. The police are catching wind. Jeez, ball. Sorry I didn't have still cutting torches for hands. Grr. You better finish that last lock in the next few minutes. We don't have much. Heck is this thing? It's that thing gonna explode. Ride or die, tool bags. What? Nice. The eye out. Hey, hey. Hero and friends still from the toy store. A game by DSB Wizard developed during Herald Jam 2022. Daddy, did you win? Additional credits sound from Zap Zap Splat, Tracks Nightmare Escape, Rockin' with Kate Crusader Cat, Break In Puzzle Dream by Eric Matthias, Vizustella, Blue Moon, Nebula Games. 
It was actually a fun game. I actually had a great time with it. Gamble action figure, $75.99. Assort Stop. Well, you hurt yourself. Screwdriver, $7.16. Damage to facility doors, $375.86. Prototype glass, $35. Novel novelty power generator, $60. Candy from vending machine, $16. D7 not not uh, $184. Premium hard hat $65. Construction equipment losses $37,000. Projected net value of jewelry store goods $421,040. Nice. Nice. We survived a jewelry heist. Wow. That was actually. That was actually pretty good for a, a game jam game. You know, you don't really play a lot of game jam games that was really, you know, that are really great. But this one actually uh, had a flavor to itself. You know, kind of, kind of tricked us in a way. But wow, it actually was pretty fun. Yeah, it's it's Harold and Friends still from the toy store. Let's freaking go. Oh, man. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. So, you guys already know what time it is. We about to do that D7 score, baby. We about to do that D7 score. Ain't we about to do that D7 score, mama? That's right. We about to give this developer a rating. Daddy, I know how to play that game. Play what game? That game. You ain't never played this game. Daddy, no, no. Daddy, I... When you played this game? We can play that game. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? All right. We this game is called... Oh, wow. All right, so... Oh, appreciate it, DSB Wizard. Man, you ain't have to do that, my guy. But definitely appreciate everything. Alright. Uh, what happened here? No, that's not correct. Alright, let's, let's not save nothing. What, what, what's all these notifications? Good time to come. I'm going to go to McDonald's. Bye. The white, what? Appreciate the top hat and enjoy eating some Mickey D's. Yeah, we about to score this bad boy. We about to score this bad boy here. All right. Yeah. Good interior map. Good mechanic puzzle. Very good inventing, but too much dialogue. Final Fantasy 7 got a lot of dialogue. Uh, Final Fantasy 6 got a lot of dialogue. I I come I come to realize a lot of good games going to have to have a lot of dialogue because of storytelling. You got to get your story out. So I'm being really lenient on games with a lot of dialogue. Even Chain of Echoes have a lot of dialogue. But it's a great RPG game. Even... Even Dragons Legend of Dragoon got a lot of dialogue. Excellent RPG game. So I don't think there's nothing we can do about the dialogue unless it is, you know, a uh, visual novel. Bear bear. Bear bear. Bear bear. Thank you. And another, and another thing I do realize when we play RPGs, of course it's longer. It's going to be longer when I'm talking. Like when I'm reading word for word, it's going to be longer versus the person just reading. Reading it, you, which is a lot faster. So just reading dialogue and add hours to minutes to, to, the, uh, to the original gameplay. So that way, I, I had to learn the hard way. Alright, so we're not going to write this game all the way through. Uh, Harold and Friends. 
Harold, and for saying still from still from toy store because I'm not gonna have enough room I'm not gonna have enough room to uh actually you know write all that and this is by DSB Wizard with two Z's. Alright. So. We're going to start off with the story. We're going to start off with the story. Based on. What the developer. Said. In the synopsis. Harold and his buzz are eyeing the latest Gambo. Multi-action action action figure at the toy store at the local mall. When the lights go out, the usual doors are blocked. And there's a lot of commotion outside. The game must now use whatever they have at their disposal with the toy store and beyond to escape. So the story is simple. Uh, They're in the store. They, uh, They was playing with the action figure. Harold, he liked the gambo. He took it out the thing. He stashed it. He stashed it before the commotion. So was his attention was his attentions was to actually steal the gambo? I don't know if he was gonna buy it. Not sure. But he eventually used the gambo to help escape. But you know, since his friends was with them. You are guilty by association. So technically his friends did help steal the gambo. Because nobody convinced him to leave it and keep it behind. So they did partake in the heist. So. uh, The main focus was trying to escape. Trying to escape and trying to elude the uh, the intruders until you know you know what we need to get them some get back. We need to show them you know who's boss. So we foil their plans and they don't get anything. Uh, not sure they went to jail, but they probably did since since everything fell on top of them foiling their plans. Don't really know. But definitely, definitely on point. Oh man, I'm on the wrong screen. <laughs> All right, so you're, we're definitely, definitely on point. Oh my gosh, where is my camera image? Ah man, come on, Harlequin. Harlequin is messing up my stream. Harlequin is messing up my stream. Yeah, yeah, they stole the generator, glasses, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technically, you are correct. So, I like the story. The story is pretty cute. It was pretty uh, on point. So, I'm going to give the story... um, I'm going to give the story a solid 9. Because I think it was really good. Even with the dialogue, you know, you did try to make funny moments and you know you you did great writing for each character in my opinion you did great writing for each character giving them their own personality and stuff like that it definitely fit well with the story so i'm gonna give it a nine because i actually enjoyed it mapping mapping wasn't the best looking uh, the best looking thing to see, like for the eyes, I seen better maps, but at the same time, for what the game is, it is a puzzle game. It's a puzzle game and stuff. You gotta use your wits and your smarts to try to uh try to uh utilize what you have on screen in order to like you know navigate through the puzzles. So. 
the map it could have been better but it did its job in navigating you know the puzzles and stuff like that you know a little bit more details here and there but otherwise it did its thing so i'm gonna give the map a seven and a half for the map seven and a half ambiance is this a puzzle game is this game do this game play like a puzzle do this game play like um it's intended to be i think it has i think it has we we are in the mall there's a toy store there's a you know a, a break room uh uh you know vending machines stuff like that we had good music we actually had some pretty good puzzles um some some uh oh my gosh moments we had some of that you know for it being a game jam game i think it i think it did a great purpose you know for you know for for what it is you know i seen many types of puzzles used with rpg maker uh I won't really say these puzzles are truly unique except the D757 knock knock sound device that was that was really good but overall you know you definitely uh, felt like you were playing the puzzle game and you had to search and find stuff in order to like to like uh, continue on so uh, I, I I feel like the game felt it felt the way it was intended to be. So I'm gonna get this a, a eight, a solid eight for Amia. Characters and battles. All right, so this game do not have battles. There's no battles. There's no battle system in this game. But at the same time, this game has um unique characters that has special abilities for for completing certain tasks uh uh what's his name um Harold he had the gambo he was able to control gambo he was able to like understand certain signs and numbers and notes and stuff where Jackie Jackie was able to like he was a strong man he was able to destroy destroy uh walls and stuff and doors knock down doors and push and push containers where Val Val uh she was able to sneak past the guards without being detected meaning if any other character step in the red the guards will be alert alerted the guards will be alerted but uh, with Val, they won't be alerted. You know, she she kind of got a a handicap when it comes to the guards. So yeah, uh, uh, very unique characters design. The puzzles, the puzzles were mainly uh, kind of Resident Evilish. You got to find the key to proceed. You need to use a character to to make way for another character. To make way for another character which was a great design good mechanics and stuff like that uh the puzzle at the end you definitely need to put your wits together it wasn't really uh punishing or challenging like i expected it was going to be but you know it definitely used the knowledge that you had for you know that you used in the game uh, I expected it to be a little bit more tougher, but hey, it's a game jam game. You can't really ask for much. So I'm going to give uh, the puzzle mechanics, the character mechanics, I'm going to give that a 7. I'm going to give it a 7. Alright, so experience. Overall, my experience with the game, I really had a great time playing the game. The game... Uh, is definitely chat and interactive 
you know you can interact with the chat and stuff like that i had a really great time you know it's good to play something different with the engine other than attack 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 heal 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 spark 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 we was able to you know enjoy a rpg maker game with a different genre you know some people felt like you know this could be a horror game this could be like a more suspenseful game but it is a jewelry heist game and we um you know we did exactly what the developer intended us to do you know solve different riddles and puzzles with different characters design and you know the event theme was on point you know you definitely created like a movie instead of just having your characters just standing in one spot and just talking you actually have them moving and at the end when harold and jackie just stop i mean harold and uh and the other guy just stopped and just started talking while the others move on shows the details that you had you know creating the game even though it is a game jam game you definitely see the effort that was put into the game but overall you know i really had a lot of fun playing this game is it the best puzzle game i ever played no it's not it's not the best puzzle game that i ever played but i'm pretty sure if the developer had a little bit more time to like sit back and and not on a time restraint and just figure out you know how to make a unique rpg maker game you know that others can like and love and enjoy i think he would make a really great one so my experience with this game i'm gonna give it uh I was frustrated at times you know I had the chat that helped me I probably would eventually figured it out but the chat was definitely there to help me so there could be some some um, some indication on the hint the player on what to do but maybe you figure it was just it's simple anybody can figure it out but majority of times when we create games like this, uh, unfortunately, given that it's RPG Maker community, we are still growing. You know, not a lot of people may have their hands on the project. So, so most developers feel like players should play like them, but sometimes that's not the case. So my experience, I'm gonna give it an 8.2 because I actually had a great time with the game. So, overall, 8.2, this gives this game a solid 7.9, 7.9, which is, according to the D7 score, it is a 3-star game, 3-star game, <laughs> A three star freaking game. Let's freaking go. Alright, this is the first game that I rated for 2023. Three stars is really awesome. I think we're going to have a great year with playing some games. Alright, so yeah. The moment when the hero game rates higher than a few other games. It's the creativity. It's the creativity. It's the creativity that this developer had, you know, creating this game. And don't get me wrong, I seen a lot of game jam games that were really great, and I wish they were commercial. But sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. You know, some developers still go on with it. Some developers just, you know, just um, leave it alone. So this game is free to play. This game is free to play, and if it was for uh, for sale, I would pay 99 cents for it. I'll pay 99 cents for this game. So the question is, the question is, will I pay? I mean, the question is. Is this not a bad game? Is this 
Not a bad game. Not a bad game. Not a bad game. Oh my gosh, man. Y'all read my minds. It is not a bad game. Yo, what's up, Padre? What's going on? How you doing? How's your New Year's going and all that good stuff? Three star is pretty good. Three star is pretty good. So, what I was trying to do yesterday, guys. I'm going to let y'all know what I was trying to do. It absolutely failed. I tried for 2022. I tried to do what Padre did for his, uh, when he did it. He put recommended games or hidden gems. I actually went through all my playlists of the games that I played and I wanted to make like a compilation of the best games of 2022 that I played. I wanted to do the top 10, the top 10 best games that I played for 2022, whether it's a demo or whether it is finished. But Top 10 is not good enough because I know they're going to be a lot of people like, oh man, D7 don't think my game was good enough. And you got some sensitive people. Not saying you guys are sensitive, but you know, when it comes to other people's games, their games, you know, their game is their baby and stuff like that. And sometimes, you know, it kind of hurt people's feelings and stuff like that, even though. Is for entertainment purposes only, but some people cannot take the heat. They can't do it. You know what I mean? So I kind of decided not to do that. You know, the best games maybe recommended something. You know, the the recommended games that you should play for 2023, 2022 games that needs another look. See, you know what I mean? So I did play a lot of games for 2022 and I'm trying to double that number this year. We're going to try to double it, but um, I'm definitely going to do a top 10. I'm definitely going to do my favorite top 10 games for 2022 and I got to go through my repertoire, you know, my playlist and actually pick the games that. I want to pick but but fair to say fair to say uh, the games that we know that are in considerate high expectation one you got trials Cascadia two you got um, you got uh, you know any members of sanctuary games I feel like those games are like Final Fantasy 7 Final Fantasy 7 ish Final Fantasy, you know, Legend of Zelda, 64. You know, those people always put their games as number one. So what I want to do, I want to omit those games because those developers already know that uh, that uh, I like their, I like those games and I gave them high regards. I want to focus on games that can possibly be a good game. You know what I'm saying? So. Tries Cascadia, you already know you top dog. You know, um, um, Harlequin's game, you know, looking really nice. You know, all Sanctuary games, tra tra uh, Trailblazers. I'm not going to mention those games. I'm not going to mention none of those games because you guys already know how I felt about them, those games. And I'm, I'm definitely going to like have them as honorable mentions. But not in a bad way. But yeah, we gotta uh, we gotta look a little bit beyond Tries Cascadia because a lot of people is starting to compare RPG Maker games to those games. You know what I'm saying? Like Neo Souls Gamer and uh, Padre and you know Will Black. Come on, man! Y you guys pretty much killed 2022 with your projects and your Let's Plays and stuff like that. But man, man, it's 2023. Y'all got to let new people get the spotlight. Y'all can't hog all the all the glory. You got to let new people in. You got to let new people in, man. You got to let new people in. So 
Chas Cascadia, uh, Trailblazer, um, you know, all Sanctuary games, you know, Dungeon Rummage. I like Dungeon Rummage. You know, I don't care what nobody say. Another Izakai, that's my game. That is my game. But, you know, that's not fair, man. That's not fair. Charles Cascadia is like is like Final Fantasy VII in RPG Maker. Like real talk, that's that's pretty much how that game uh, feels to me. It's like Final Fantasy VII, and uh, and don't you get tired of seeing the the best the best you uh, RPG games of 2020 or all time. And it's always Final Fantasy 7, number one. It's never Super Mario RPG, which which is definitely uh, in the top five. Or Chrono Trigger, which is definitely in the top three of my favorite RPGs. But yeah, um, it's 2023, guys. I'm definitely going to be grinding hard this year with these games. So the reason why I say that because I really want to uh, look for new talent. I want to look for hidden talent within the community and uh, show them love too. You know, so Trials, Cascadia, Sanctuary Games. Y'all games are tattooed on me. So I definitely can't wait until the release dates of, of the finished product of these games. And definitely... Um, Let's uh you know let's 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 um support the other the I mean I know you guys already support them but man you know y'all got y'all games just stand out y'all games just stand out so I'm gonna be using Twitter really hard because I see a lot of talent on Twitter there's tons of talent on Twitter and games like hidden gems as well so I gotta work on my editing my video editing, I'm not that good like Guinea Miles, but that's one thing I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do as well. Um, you know, maybe you know a compilation of my favorite videos. Uh, try to do something weekly or or at least monthly. You know, for 2023 because I really want to grow this channel. I feel like this is the year. This is the year for me. You know and stuff like that So you know Gotta use my, my brains and, and, and get this done Because I really want to see A success For each and every last one of us <laughs> You know I want to see All of us successful But yeah uh, I'm looking for more You know to 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 uh, um, Network with other Let's players And maybe get them to stream some of your games As well on their channel you know that way there's other eyes and stuff that you know that could see your games with their audience and stuff like that but rpg maker is is definitely a small community but there's a ton of people in there and when it comes to numbers they um it could actually help with discoverability of your games so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and spend time with my family guys and once again, I definitely appreciate you guys for hanging out with your boy, making everything special. Even the streams, the streams is, man, heck of a streams, man, heck of it. You know, I'm so blessed to have you guys in my corner. Real talk, I don't be saying this to just be saying it. I really appreciate each and every last one of you. So it is 2023. We're definitely going to grow in every area, in every corner. This is the year to support everyone, developers, everybody. And Echo Paladin Echo is back. Definitely check him out. You know, don't sleep on my man one man Indy did a 12-hour stream of nothing but RPG maker love and kindness that he did. He didn't have to do it, but he wanted to do it, you know, for the love of you know game making. So Next time, guys, y'all have a safe one. Appreciate it, Audrey, RPG Maker, Balder. Appreciate it. I try to be chill. And once again, don't forget to like the stream. And if you want to send me a project, 
D757 Gaming at gmail.com. D757 Gaming at gmail.com. If you got any game requests or you want me to play your crazy demo for you and you want the D7 score, hit me up. All right, guys, appreciate you. Y'all stay safe, stay easy, and I will see you later. Peace.